In today's HealthCast, we're focusing on a condition that affects about one out of every 15,000 babies from really all races and ethnic groups. prader willi syndrome is the most common cause of life-threatening childhood obesity. With a history of cervical cancer, Dorothea Lance and her husband Randall never thought she'd become pregnant. When it did happen, at the age of 37, she began another difficult journey. And when he was born, it was, it was like, bam, the shoe dropped. Their son Hunter was born with a condition called prader willi syndrome. You know, that was, that was the first time I'd ever heard about it. And I don't know if you've ever Googled it, um, it's not pretty. Children with PWS have a disconnect between the brain and the stomach. They never feel full, leaving them with a constant hunger, desperate to eat. So we have many of our families that, are, that have a loved one with PWS have closed kitchens, locked cabinets, locked trash cans, food-seeking behavior. Yay. You know, it's, it's not their fault. They don't have the ability to know that, that they're full. They're starving all the time. To complicate things even further, Hunter is on the autism spectrum, another disorder that often overlaps with PWS. There you go, buddy. Dorothea is now working with the prader willi Syndrome Association to push for more research into potential treatments. We have people for the first time in the natural history of PWS that are not only going to college, but they're actually living in dorms on college campus, which is unheard of for prader willi syndrome. Absolutely unheard of, and it's incredible. And that gives her hope for Hunter. I want him to at least have a chance. He deserves a chance. It does indeed. Uh, efforts to help and develop these viable therapies for PWS have sort of hit some stumbling blocks along the way, but right now there are a few drugs in the FDA approval process.